South Africa. Welcome to Afternoon Express. I'm Bonnie Mbouli. And I am Jeannie Dean. How are you doing today? Well, I feel like you've just got to make each hair flip fabulous. <laughs> That's kind of hashtag mood. I love it. That's a hair flip for Caster, by the way. Congratulations. Today on the show, we feature a very inspiring young man. He's a clinical psychologist, a qualified psychologist who drives around in a very pimped out van in the township offering psychological help to those who need it and Absolutely counseling. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And our social media question for the day is what kind of mobile service would you like to see within your community and your neighbourhood? So remember to tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express. Comment on our Facebook page or give us a call on 083 913 3728. Semenya, we just have to salute you and are absolutely in awe of the jog that you took this afternoon <laughs> while everyone else was sprinting behind you and that was absolutely amazing. We wish you all the way to gold. Absolutely. We're not alone. Danilo's in the kitchen. Indeed, good afternoon, South Africa. Lovely to be with you this afternoon. So I must just say that for One Home and Afternoon Express today, we're in for a bit of a treat because we've been catching up with the journeys of all of our design contestants. And today it's Joanae's chance. Uh, Joanae and her mentor, Asumin Brink, are with us in the studio today. We'll be catching up with them a little bit more about their journey and their relationship, how they've grown and what the expectations are towards the end of the competition. And that means for you that do not forget, by Friday this week is the last chance you have to vote for your favorite apartment overall and to enter yourself into that competition that we've been running as well. So make sure you get your votes in ASAP. Now, if that wasn't enough on the show today, we're also cooking not only one, but two dishes with my favorite foodie friend, Claire Hello. Allen's with us today. Hi. Uh, and you have an incredible blog. I love reading all the stuff that you post online. Thank you. Today, we're trying to encourage kids to try something new. And protein is a big thing to get into people's diets, and particularly young people's diets. And today, we're going to try and diversify those proteins by focusing yes. on fish. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be making fish burgers. They're really, really healthy. They're full of omega-3s, really, really nice. And Yum. the kids are going to Love it, so I'm gonna get cooking with that. Lovely. And later on in the show, also don't forget we're making a delicious sandwich with camembert and watercress. It's gonna be super delicious. It's perfect for a lunchbox time. But let's get started with our first recipe: a fish burger. Yeah, so you're gonna take it from frozen from your box, which is nice and convenient. See, obviously, take your box out the freezer, put it in the pan, and you're gonna cook it for about four or five minutes till yeah. nice and golden brown. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make our own tartar sauce. Yeah. Nice you can get the kids involved, let them cook with you, and you make our own slaw. So I'm gonna start with the slaw. I've got some olive oil. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to do some vinegar. Cool. Oh, there we go. Ooh, yum. A little bit excited there, there with that go. vinegar. Absolutely. Good. It's, we're all very excited to be in the middle of the week. <laughs> and some mustard. And then mm -hmm. what you're going to do is you're going to add some salt and sugar to kind of create a little bit of a pickle. Cool. And then um, a little bit more olive oil, I think. And then I'm just going to whisk that up. Oh, and so you almost like the dressing yes. beforehand. Well, you want to mix it all together. Otherwise, you're going to have it all clumped up yeah. around your, your carrot. It's not going to work. So give it a little bit of a whisk. Mm, that's a nice mixing device. I mean, a lot of people do it with a sort of spoon, but that's my favorite device now in the kitchen is that wood to use it for everything. It's a great mixer. I'm sure your mother's was a wooden spoon. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you can't use that in the food anymore after the number of times she's had to, like, <laughs> well, no, is that illegal anymore? I don't even know. I don't know. Luckily, okay, I'm so we're gonna, now. we've got carrots, we've got spring onions, and I'm just going to give that a bit of mix. So that's why I've done the, the, the sauce first, so we can actually mm. mix it through. And then we're going to cover it with some sesame seeds, which is Ooh, also delicious. really, really good, full of antioxidants, mm. really, really healthy, nice way to sneak in some extra vitamins yeah. for the kids. And with all of the vinegars and stuff that you've got in here, quite sharp flavours. That yes. sesame seed will hopefully just bring that down. Yes. So we're also going to be, be doing the creamy, the tartar sauce. This is going to work really, really well. Delicious. And then I'm going to okay. put in a little bit of sesame seeds. And maybe a little trick that if you want to have the time, toast them slightly. You can, yes, absolutely. Toasting, just make sure you don't burn them. Yeah. Keep an eye on them because they will burn quite quickly. Okay. And then there, that's our quick, easy, crunchy Yummy. carrot sauce. It's going to be really, really mm. fresh, full of flavour. And, and then, full of really good nutrients. Yes, absolutely. So you're going to do the slaw and the, the tartar sauce first. Okay. So in a bowl, I need to take your mayonnaise. Sure. Um, please excuse my ignorance, but I always thought tartar sauce was just mayo and like a tomato sauce or am I getting no, confused with that something? No, that's that like pink, pink sauce, sauce that oh. you used to get at like some funny little takeaway shop. This is homemade tartar oh, yeah. sauce. So it's great you can, for fish. Exactly. So you can make your own mayonnaise, otherwise store-bought is perfect. And we've got some gherkins, mm. nicely diced. And then I've got some grated, you can give it a mix. Cool. Some like this. red onion. Oh, that's going to create that nice, like, tartness to this. Yes. It's tart to the tart tar. Now, right? if you didn't want to do mayonnaise, you could maybe do um, creme fraiche or sour well, What about cream. a double thick cream? Like a double, really, like a really thick Greek yogurt or something, like a yogurt. You could, yeah, then add a little bit more lemon juice to it just yeah. to give it that tartness Zestiness. as well. Um, and you can also add a little bit of um, zest to it if you'd like. And then we're going to add a hard-boiled egg. We'll just crush mm -hmm. that. 
Oh, I never knew that you actually added eggs to something yeah, like this. That's amazing. Flavor, and now we're going to have some salt and pepper. Hey, this is like a Sami spread. Who never exactly, mind tartar sauce. Exactly, that's exactly. Sauce. And it's nice dipping sauce as well yeah. that you can do. So if you can give it a mix. Cool. That's Perfect. done. And that's so it. our tartar combined. sauce is done. Our slaw is done. What we've done is we've toasted our buns. Okay, give them a nice little crisp toasted. side. Exactly. And I've got some already made um, fish burgers. I'm going to do okay. that. And then I'm going to do, them. yeah, and then we're going to do some mozzarella slices. Mm. You can use the cheese of your choice, but mozzarella is going to be really nice. When it's nice and warm, it's going to yeah. melt and get crispy. And if you want, you can put it in the oven and it can get all bubbly. Oh, delicious. Mm. It can almost melt right over. Exactly, exactly. And it's a perfect, perfect thing to do for a Friday night. I mean, everyone makes burgers yes. on a Friday night. It's a nice family treat to have. Everyone makes their own. It's a DIY little space. And now this time, what you can do is try it with something different and introduce your kids to a delicious way Absolutely. to introduce that sort of protein and if you really are a big sea harvest fan if you go to our facebook page right now uh, there are a whole bunch of little goodies that they're giving away the link is available for you there so afternoon express on facebook there's a link there to see how you can win yourself some goodies with sea harvest and afternoon express so i've laid it up i've got my tartar sauce i've got my slaw oh yummy and mm. that is the perfect fish burger. I feel like I'm ready for the weekend. If you are too and want to make this recipe with myself and Claire and Afternoon Express, go to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. There you can find everything we make on the show and the shopping list is also available for you over there. Now, after the break, we chat to the Kasi counselor, Banetsi Mpunga, uh, who drives around and counsels the youth in his community from the back of his combi. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Banetsi Mpunga, a young registered counsellor from Kailicha, is on a mission to provide therapy to the youth in his community and their families. But faced with the staggering cost of rent, he found it very difficult to run a practice. So refusing to be set back by financial constraints, he came up with an innovative way to see his patients, with what he calls the emotional ambulance. What wow. an amazing name. That sounds absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. A caracara -car that offers therapy, basically, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at this emotional ambulance. Hi, guys. My name is Andreas Banetimpunga. I'm a registered psychological counselor. I run the Kalicha Mobile Unit. Uh, come and have a look at what is it that I'm doing. I chose to do an internship with Mr. Mpunga because he's doing the same thing as me, which is psychology, and he's making a change in his community because he's offering services that have not been offered before, and the people of Kailish and other townships need their services. I do want to follow in his footsteps and do better in my own community. Wow. I absolutely love it. It's so wow. amazing. How did you come up with this initiative? Um, last year, I was busy in a program called Think Youth Academy uh, that was providing um, free uh, after-school programs uh, and uh, tutorials. So I was the program uh, designer there, providing uh, psychosocial uh, workshops. So after realizing that the youth that were always in the groups, one of them would uh, come out as a person that is having a psychological uh, <coughs> problem at home or at school. Uh, so when I inquired further as to if is there anyone that knows that you've got such, they would say, yes, uh, my parents do know, but they do not afford to take me to a psychologist or to a registered counselor. And uh, at the schools, they would wait for weeks uh, and months waiting for psychologists to come and see them. Mm. So hence, I decided to scoop money out of my pocket, go and buy the mobile van. Uh, after that, uh, the rest is history. Wow, that is amazing. What? Apparently, there's only something like four registered practitioners in Kailicha, or five registered practitioners in Kailicha. Servicing service. 400,000 people. Exactly. Like, I mean, how do you cope with the workload? Yeah. I mean, how many people are you seeing? Uh, at the moment, what we are doing now for this year is providing a mental health education. Uh, yeah. That's uh, one uh, specific uh, method that uh, brings this awareness to the township. Yeah. Uh, but when there are people that come forth saying that uh, whatever topic you covered during your workshop, I related to that, then... 
they would come and make an appointment. Then I go to them uh, with the mobile van. Uh, from there, then they will come to the office that was offered to us by uh, the community of Mandela Park Amazing. in Kailicha. Yeah, and you use a very unique technique of psychology. What is it called? And tell us about it. Uh, it's brain working recursive uh, therapy. It's BWRT wow. in short uh, by uh, Terence Watt. Yeah. Um, How it, does it work? It's a technique that uh, reduces a six-session therapy into uh, a two-session therapy. Wow, and, I need that. That's helpful. And it's uh, permanent. The, the, the results are permanent. And That's every amazing. time people, when they leave the van or the, the office that uh, I'm occupying, uh, they come out asking, what did you do? Are you for real? Uh, this is not for, this is not just right. They, they, they leave not believing what has happened. And I say, come back the next time. I'll show you that. Uh, you won't go back to your previous state. And wow. it's, it, it's marvelous in that way. Do they witness actual, like, a change in their behavior and in their, in their patterns of uh, they, thinking? They do, because what uh, in that technique we do is we make them relive the experience that they've gone through uh, mm. in their mind, obviously. Sure. Then uh, just to show them that there are other ways of... Um, responding to, to, mm. to, to the experience. So uh, that's how we do it. Yeah. What are the main kinds of, of mental illness that you're dealing with? I mean, what, what are the, the majority of issues that you're faced with? Majority is um, uh, depression, uh, because young people in the township, uh, they, they're exposed to a lot of uh, issues that uh, predisposes them to depression, yeah. anxiety, and phobias now are, are, are manifesting slowly but surely. Sure. Uh, and also uh, substance abuse really? uh, is most prevalent uh, because families do come seeking assistance for their family members, uh, children, uh, extended family members, even mm. their neighbors. So that's how that's how prevalent it is. And yeah. Yeah, it's amazing work that you do because I think something like mental disease and depression is something that's very rarely dealt with. I think people don't want to face the fact that they're suffering with these issues yeah. because of the stigmas attached to it. So yeah. how do you almost encourage people to come and speak to you that need the help? What uh, we do with the, 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 the volunteers that I'm currently training, uh, we'll go to the township street corners where the young people normally hang, wow. schools, uh, churches, yeah. uh, and talk about mental health. Yeah. Uh, and show them it is cool to, to seek psychological assistance mm, yeah. uh, because uh, without seeking that assistance, the problems that a person is experiencing, they, they expand and become unmanageable. Yeah. 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 So, so that's how we do it. Now we are doing it in a, uh, in a mobile unit, Ikarakara, mm. which is popular yes. in the township. So young people, they do come and uh, come to chat, but end up uh, yeah. going for, for, for session. You've been offering mm. the service since 2015. Yeah. Well, any victory stories that you can share? Um, there the, the are few that I can uh, share, whereas uh, one client of mine was a drug addict, a drug addict, and uh, this year he went back to school um, studying at UWC. Yeah. Wow. Um, and the others um, that did come through the unit, uh, they finished matric, uh, and um, there's a college uh, that I'm partnering with that was, wanted to sponsor her to go and study psychology mm. at uh, the college. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. There's actually a friend, I've got a friend of mine who's in therapy at the moment, and he says, just as much as you go to gym to exercise your body, you've got to go for therapy to, to, to clear your mind and to mm. exercise your mind sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's head over to Danilo. Indeed, so much more still to come right here on Afternoon Express. After the break, we've got Joanna Fenter joining us in the loft today. Plus, she's got a mentor with her, um, Sumin Bring from VC Magazine. They're going to be sharing more about their journey throughout the competition as we journey towards the end of the competition. Plus, I've got the most incredible surprise to show you after the break. We're taking a look at the most incredible home I have ever seen based in KZN. It's something not to be missed. become a TV star? 
Host Mini Flamini and Games Master Jonathan Boynton Lee want you to be part of one of seven smooth teams led by seven celebrities that will compete on the tropical island of the Seychelles. Each team will strive to outdo the others to stand a chance of winning the 1 million rand grand prize. Which team will you choose? All you have to do is purchase a Tropica, follow the instructions on pack, visit tropica.co.za for more details. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. It's time for our weekly home profile with privateproperty.co.za. If you have a passion for travel and the exotic traditional design of the East, then this week's home is just for you. Danilo took a break from the real world and entered a magical sanctuary when he visited this mansion located in KZN. Look at this. Durban North, one of the oldest and most sought-after suburbs in KZN. This is prime real estate and today we found a home that's been inspired by the owner's travels throughout Africa and it is sure to blow you away. Miles. Salila. Sure, Miles, as you walk in here, this grand door, this beautiful chandelier and immediately greeted by nature. What a stunning entrance. You know, I felt the same way as you when I walked in here. First impressions are so important. And, th and in this property, that Zanzibar front door really does set the tone. It is, it is absolutely incredible. And, th and in this room, the same thing. You've got this indigenous greenery, the beautiful landscape garden that greets you. You've got a chandelier that hangs down from a glass atrium. It's really impressive. I can't wait to show you the rest of it. Wow, this is breathtaking. I've seen many houses in my career so far, but I've never experienced a home like this that tells so many stories. Yes, this is a family that has traveled a lot. They love entertaining, and you can see it in this property. Um, when you walk outside here, you have a look at the beautiful, the beautiful KZN coastline, the beautiful bush, and it's uh, just a wonderful thing to have a look at every evening when you come home from work. Um, that wooden deck outside there is Rhodesian teak. And then you, you can see on there, there's a pizza oven, there's a bra, there's a fireplace, there's a dining room table. You can actually do everything out on that deck whilst enjoying the most beautiful views that KZN has to offer. You really would never believe that you're in the heart of, of Durban North here right now when you look at that, um, because it's, it's simply an awe-inspiring view. You've got a nice, beautiful, warm uh, room flow pool um, to appreciate those warm KZN evenings. So when you look at a property like this, it really just ticks so many boxes for a family that loves entertaining and loves travel. This home is an investor's dream. I mean, these floors that have been beautifully cared for, the exposed beams up above us, lots of space. They're absolutely fantastic. These handcrafted uh, Rhodesian teak floors are, are incredible. I mean, walking on them is, is just something that is so pleasurable. You've got doors that have come here from India. You know, every little piece of the puzzle here has been crafted by, by the homeowners in their travels. The space in this room is just something that you've got to actually stand in it to actually believe it. It's, it's, it's literally incredible. Everywhere you look, your eye catches a different ornament. And I also noticed this floating stairwell. It looks like it leads to heaven. It does, it does. It leads to the main bedroom, and I can promise you that's heaven when you get up there and you have a look at those views. Sure, hey? Yeah, and the minute you walk in here, you, you can tell immediately that it's the master bedroom. Um, uh, why I say that is because of the massive space and the incredible views that you get from this room. Um, you're looking from Durban Central all the way down to Schlanger Rocks. I also like the way that there's no bathroom in itself here where you can point and say, oh, there's the bathroom. Here, there's a bit of it all over the place. You've got the bath over here, the shower over there, the basins over there. It's just one big space and that's what makes this particular room so, so unique. Sure, what a glorious experience it must be to stand underneath this shower and looking out into this incredible view out here. It really feels like nature is such an integral part of this home. Without a doubt, the brief to the landscape architect was exactly that, was it to bring that forest and this garden into each other so that they almost won, and they've achieved that. If you look over there, you can see the two tiers almost with, uh, with the decking and the beautiful room flow pool, which was, which was lifted up to make sure that the views were maximized from that position, from where the pool was originally in this, in this particular property. The lower tier with the koi pond and the lounge area is the zen space of the property and it really is the green lung of this particular home. This spot here is like the perfect breakaway from from the world but a lot of the stuff around here looks like it requires maintenance. You'd think so, but, but not really. They've managed to save 60,000 litres of water on site here, which is the water they get off the roof from the, from the rain, and they use that water to irrigate the garden and to make it look as, as beautiful as it does. On top of that, there's solar panels here, 
which obviously reduces the electricity bill and, uh, and makes the house a lot more eco-friendly. So they've really done a great job in keeping their, their overheads down and their maintenance down because of that. Do these features really add value to a property? Without a doubt. With rising electricity costs and, and water being a very precious commodity right now, not having to, to invest in that every month is, is, is incredibly um, good for people that own this property because they really want to make sure it's properly maintained and uh, having that overhead reduced every month is a, is a huge value add. As a nature lover myself, this home really speaks to me. And if you're somebody who's eco-conscious, loves the outdoors, and wants to indulge in the beautifully panoramic views of Durban North, then find the details of this property on privateproperty.co.za. There you can find the home and the neighborhood that suits your needs. Wow, what a home. Now, winter is almost over. Thankfully, I can start dressing in my summer wardrobe again. But the weather is still a little nippy outside. Bonnie is in the garden with a woman who has a great way to spend time with the kids indoors. And it's sure to get those creative juices flowing. Welcome to the Fresh Pack Natural Goodness Series. We all need reassurance that we're making healthy choices for ourselves and for our families. Fortunately, with the natural goodness of Fresh Pack, you know you're doing just that. Keeping kids entertained is a challenge moms often face, and it's sometimes so easy to fall back on TV and digital means to keep the boredom away. But today we're talking scrapbooking as a crafty and creative activity for the whole family, and loads of fun to enjoy together. To show us how to make a scrapbook is creative consultant and author of Real Easy Deco and DIY, and 50 upslacking projects from trash to treasure. Missy Overturf, welcome to The Loft, Missy. Thank you. Lovely to have you with us. So as a DIY expert, you love upcycling objects and turning old objects into new, beautiful things. What are the benefits of DIY? I think it, it enables someone. It makes you, it turns you into the designer, the maker, the creator, the conceptualizer. It all starts, it's all, and, you, everybody learns new skills when they do that and it's it's empowering and that's what I enjoy about it when people learn new skills and they feel like they have achieved something. Yeah. Scrapbooking has become quite popular. In fact, I find it's always been popular. What is it that's so exciting about the world of scrapbooking? I think um, it's a perfect way to document special events and memories. Um, like it's an album but for different things. I think Kids can have so much fun, a family can have fun together when you uh, document according to a year's events, highlights or sporting events or, you know, parties. Or when you have friends at home and you have a dinner party, uh, you can document the food that you made, your recipes, or even we can do a tea party, all the tea yeah, parties you host. <laughs> yeah. And how do we get started? How do we make up our own scrapbook? There's all underworld. Money. I can't even, I'm sure. <laughs> and, um, I've it's... seen some really impressive <laughs> scrapbooks out there. So you can divide it into different themes for yourself. For kids, it's perfect to document events like school, like into schools or sporting events or parties. For adults, it's a fun way of documenting the growth in, you know, in renovating a, a home yeah. or special events. And especially food. I, I saw an interesting one where you could document the food. It's a, it's a meal journal. And of what you eat eating. every day. Oh my gosh! Not necessarily, I do not but want great to find food. Out what I eat every day, <laughs> like res great restaurants you visit. And oh wow! So it's perfect for those Instagram fo foodies to document yeah. and to print out those pictures and keep a journal, and then actually maybe add the recipe to it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this sounds like a fun activity to get the kids involved. How do we get them involved? Well, there's certain ways of um, approaching the project. Now, I think to start small is best. Like this one I made for my 16-year-old niece. She was uh, recently visiting on holiday. So what you need is beautiful paper. And this is a concertina-style little scrapbook with just the memories of oh. her short holiday year. And um, I contrasted two different types of paper together with the cover and the inside. Uh -huh. So you need paper, you need some glue, um, you need a, a, a paper trimmer, and then you can cut it to any size and what I think is if you start with these small little booklets, you can actually group them all together later in a bigger album. Because it does, you think it's a, it's a fun project, but the costs do ma um, amount to yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. I tried scrapbooking you, once and I found out how expensive <laughs> it can get. When you start, yeah. so it's best to start yeah. small and build up your, your toolkit. Absolutely. 
And I mean, obviously, the kids need to be careful with the scissors because I have two little boys who love to cut up their clothes yeah, if I of hand course. them a pair of scissors. <laughs> yeah, so that's something I would look out for. You get an easy paper trimmer. That's safer to use if you teach ah, them. Oh. Um, but I think those are the things you... Or maybe you can cut up the paper for them and they can just use the, the glue. Right. But it's a great way to learn to teach them the skills. Yeah. Just take us through the basic process of scrapbooking. If somebody wants to start and they just don't know where to start creatively, what should they be thinking? I think it's the best place to start is if you want a picture book, is to mm -hmm. organize your photographs. So you, you'll have them on your phone or your, your computer. So invest in, in good quality printing paper if you can do that at home. Okay. Otherwise, find a, a shop where you can print your pics. They normally come in, in jumbo size, just standard photographs. And then a trend is also to cut the photographs to different sizes. So you can see that I cut normal photographs into different sizes to fit the pages. Wow. And you can even collage them. You can cut one picture up in different squares and you know create a little space yeah, between them. So yeah. you can have fun with your pictures. So uh, it's also important to use a glue that doesn't have any acid in it. Okay. Remember the old albums that you, when you look at old albums and the photographs are slightly yellow and the glue is yellow, oh, yes. they actually damage the pics. So a big thing in the scrapbooking world is to use glue that don't have um, oh, acid, acid in it. In it. Oh, okay. So that is one thing to preserve your pics. And then um, you can have fun. You can do photo corners. These are little kits you buy. There's yeah. a, there's a, a whole world of photo <laughs> there corners. There are walls full of trimmings <laughs> and trinkets yeah. and things you can add. Little flowers, ribbons, the photo corners. I added a ribbon. You can have labels. And then there's also oh. the school of thought in scrapbooking that don't believe in glue, but they will just um, use oh, little like pins little for everything. Oh, okay, okay. And, or you can put them in envelopes and you right. can bind your envelopes together in an album or in a box. Wow. That's definitely a beautiful scrapbook. I absolutely love it. And your niece is gorgeous. Yes, she is. <laughs> but you know, my favorite thing about these chats is drinking a cup of rooibos. And I'm yeah. sure it's very beneficial for the kids to drink while they're in this exciting activity. Wouldn't you say? I think it's a perfect drink. There's, there's a little ritual involved. So it's a perfect end when you've worked really hard. And I think rooibos is cool because it's local, locally made. Mm -hmm. And um, there's no caffeine and sugar, so you mm -hmm. can drink as much as you want. Well, there you have it. The only time someone ever said you can drink as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. You. Fresh Pack Rooibos is all about choosing the healthy way. With Fresh Pack Junior, moms can be assured that the kids will enjoy all the beneficial antioxidants, no sugar, no caffeine, and of course the natural goodness of Fresh Pack Rooibos. And it's delicious served hot or if you'd like to win a copy of Missy's book, 50 Upcycle Projects from Trash to Treasure, as well as a fresh pack hamper of selected teas, SMS the keyword fresh pack, your name and city, along with the language of your choice, English or Afrikaans, to 33728 now. SMS is cost 150, teas and teas apply and can be found on afternoonexpress.co.za. Until next week, keep yourself and your family happy, healthy and enjoying life with the natural goodness of fresh pack robots. Fresh Pack. Goodness comes naturally. Follow three talented young designers as they transform three empty apartments on Valdivia Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Cast your vote on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance to win one of the completed apartments worth more than 3 million rand. And can you believe it? There are only two days left for you to vote for your favorite design contestant's apartment on privateproperty.co.za. Time really, really flies. Now, this week, we're looking back on each of their journeys. And today, we focus on Joanne with her mentor, Sumin Brink. All the way from Bloemfontein, candidate architect Joanne Fento was chosen by her mentor, Sumin Brink, from VC Magazine. Joanne established her minimalist style in the guest bedroom and continued with this look into the bathroom. And what's going to happen here? We're going to put white tiles all the way up, and then on the ground as well. And I think it's very important that you pull the colours that you had in the bedrooms and in the other parts of the room to the bathroom. Okay. Because it is actually part of that bedroom. Yes. Joanne's bathroom was a perfect example of sleek, contemporary and minimalist design with a hint of her cheeky personality. But her master bedroom didn't initially go as planned. 
The exposed cupboards are a bit too long. The one is fitting, but the other one is way too long. The whole look that you're going for is understated, really good quality, so it doesn't look flashy, but it is just fabulous to live in that space. <laughs> what the heck? Hi, hi. Are you sleeping on the job? Oh, yeah, it's been a really hectic week. Oh, I'm so tired. Man. But it's done, is it? Is it done? Basically, everything's done, yes. I'm going for the minimalist look. Like, that is what they're going to get from me, and I am going to stand behind it. I really like it. That's who I am, and I, I think it's trending and it looks amazing. Joanne stuck to her guns, and together with Sumin's guidance, they created a master bedroom with a simple but trendy design that could easily fit in with loft apartments in New York and San Francisco. The kitchen was next, Valdovi, chic. I'm bringing copper because we have, we're bringing copper into the whole apartment. Oh, I'm so happy that you're doing that. Copper creates a beautiful glow, and for any food looks beautiful on it. The kitchen's dark chocolate palette with its white Caesar stone tops made for a dramatic centerpiece to the home. Next up, the lounge. Team BC's apartment is a very clean and minimalist space. So we need a centerpiece that's quite linear and light. The colors I chose are very natural and a lot of whites and a few black accents throughout the space. The item that I've got in mind is extremely light and reusable. So if you want to move it into a different space, you can use it for a desk or a dining room table as well. I absolutely yes, love, it. love it. I think <laughs> it's fabulous. It's exactly what we want and we're going to win. <laughs> this is just wow. Yes. I love this piece, it's very unique. The artists that worked on this, they are students from, from Cape Town. The shapes were inspired by butterfly wings, so when you look up at it, you see these abstract figures and shapes, and it just takes you to another wonderland. Joanne's lounge blew the judges away with the eclectic and colorful chandelier, clean lines and contemporary furniture. Her first victory on Winner Home. It's now up to the judges to decide on their final verdict to see who will walk away with the judges prize and the Arc Design Studio internship. And boy, is the competition tight this year. Sumin and Joanne, welcome to the loft. Good Thank to have you. both of you with us. I've seen you cry. <laughs> after not winning the first three challenges, and I've seen you in full joy after winning the final challenge. Yes. You must be overjoyed. But something that I've never actually got to sit you down and ask you, you left your job to be on Winner Home. Yes, I did. Tell yeah, me more. I left my job because uh, this opportunity came up and I had to take it. Yeah. And I learned so much. I learned so much. So I'm not, I don't re regret it at, at all. all. So it was worth it for you, yes, do you think? Yes, definitely. Okay, especially in terms of career building, etc. Mm. And, and Sumin, when you got to choose through who you were going to ment mentor through this whole process, what was it about Joanne that, that really stood out for you? Because you two have had such an incredible relationship. I've seen you really take her on as a daughter. Oh, it sounds a bit important. <laughs> it was. It really was. No, I think it was especially very for her. important. Mm. When I saw all those entries right in the beginning, this is the one that jumped out. Okay. She just the the way she presented her ideas was just perfect. Mm. I love the fact that she studied architecture, <laughs> and um, just her personality is so sparkling. Yeah. And we really, really worked so well together. Yeah, you both have very similar personalities in the sense that you like beautiful things. You both like elegance in the process, and you really, in some ways, also. A strong woman, you strong minded woman and strong headed, and that was one of the things that you felt were, were, were really causing the tension in the competition with, with the other challenges because you felt like, no, I'm sticking to my guns, this is mm. my idea. How did that affect your relationship? Because I'm guessing Sumin would have said, well, we need to change our tact, and you said, <laughs> no. Yes, a few times I, I came with ideas and then I, I asked her opinion about it, but I did come, sometimes I wasn't sure and then she helped me, mm. but I was quite. No, we never really had any major meltdown. Mm. There was a moment with the floors in the bathroom that was a bit <laughs> taxi. <laughs> but um, most of the time we actually yeah. just worked together and if there was a problem, we tried to solve it. Yeah. So it was a very sort of like um, positive, uplifting mm. Oh, For us too. It was also for us to watch your relationship grow through the competition. And speaking of that growth, what, did you think, what do you think is the one area that you think she's grown the most through this competition? I think just managing a whole bunch of builders, mm. you know. Yes, Working definitely. with those craftsmen and the workmen on the site, she mm. was fantastic. Yeah. And of course they loved her because she's pretty and she's... <laughs> and bubbly. And, and bubbly and she chats Even met the Hara Dawn. Even met the Hara Dawn. No, she really managed that team very, very well, I Fantastic. Thought.
She was an incredibly good professional on site, and I remember uh, saying that about you early on in this competition. But the one name that you managed to pick up for yourself was that you were real. But not only real, you are also called Blooper Real. <laughs> And so I mentioned yes. on my social media sites that I've got a surprise for you today. We've managed to take through all of those uh, little behind the scenes <laughs> clips. So here's a quick blooper reel of Joanne on Winner Home. <laughs> so I chose Plascon in the mood because I love the. <laughs> oh, with the zip. <laughs> Can I just ask you, did you stick those on? Uh, maybe yes. With what? <laughs> with. A type of tape. Just to complete the bathroom. <laughs> that is going to be fixed, right? Yes, it is going to be fixed later. Okay, but your time is done, Zwane. I'm pretty sure if you just touch it like this, it'll just fall off. No, that's good. It just comes off like this. Okay. You stuck it on literally okay. with, with tape. Literally with tape. <laughs> Sorry. I also see your TV's not even plugged in. Does it even work? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it does look. Well, show me. I'd, li I'd love to see. No, it's not plugged in at the moment, and they're doing the regular switch now, so I can't plug it in. No, but it's plugged. I know there's electricity in the apartment with all your lights no, on. No, no, so but they're, work they're working on, it, on them. You're not lying to me at all. <laughs> no, I'm not lying to you at all. Because little birdie may have told me that your TV is just a prop. <laughs> is that a lie? <laughs> it may be. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne, you have had some fun on this journey so far. Man, it must be such an incredible experience. What have you learned the most? I've learned um, to work with people mm. and to uh, be more graceful. <laughs> and, and install appliances that work without yes. double-sided tape. And I've learned, uh, yes, that. And I've learned just <laughs> so much about the building industry, so much. Yeah. In terms of the magazine industry, I mean, assuming part of this relationship was for VC Magazine to get some really great exposure out of her talent, and technically you put your whole business behind what she does. And well, well, we absolutely did. And from that first presentation, I knew this was the one that would mm. sit perfectly in the magazine in a mix of other styles. Yeah, so what has so it done for the magazine? Well, we've got fantastic publicity, we've got a fantastic apartment to show, mm -hmm. and hopefully we're going to inspire the whole of South Africa yeah. to live in this very relaxed, modern way. Sure. Well, Joanne, two days left for viewers to go and vote for their favourite apartment. Uh, what is on for you next after Winner Home? Whether you win or you don't win, what is next for you? And what is your encouragement for, for the viewers to continue to vote for you until Friday? I'm going to take a break because this was very hectic. And vote for me because my apartment is very unique and creative, and I think it's... Just amazing. Well, all the best. Good luck to both of you. We're Thank all holding you. thumbs. This is going to be one exciting finale right here on Afternoon Express. And as I said, there are only two days left until entries close for Winner Home. So if you're a fan of Joanne's minimalist style, then head over to privateproperty.co.za and vote for her now. Plus, by voting, you stand in line to win one of the biggest prizes on South African television, uh, which will be announced live on Friday, the 26th of August. Don't go anywhere. Vote now and you could win a home. One lucky viewer can win one of three completed apartments at the Valdivia Estate, valued at over 3 million rand by voting for your favorite design contestant's apartment on privateproperty.co.za. Win a home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, if you're looking for an easy and healthy lunch idea, you usually gravitate towards either a, a sandwich or a salad, right? Well, today we are combining the two to showcase the versatility of Sasko bread, and we'll be making a lunch that ticks all the necessary boxes, healthy and delicious. This sami is inspired by the classic flavor combinations in a Wardorf salad, uh, but we've uh, put our very own spin on that classic today to keep things fresh and exciting. And here to do that with us is our very own resident chef, Clem Pedro. How are you doing? Dude, I'm doing so well. Today we've got to cook two recipes. I'm like a man in heaven. Oh, absolutely. So today, like I said, we're making a sandwich kind of inspired by the Waldorf salad. Cool. And I'm using the Sasko speciality oats and honey bread. Mm. So amazing, it's got that like unique honey flavor. It leans itself really well to the apple and the mayonnaise that we're using today. Delicious. And when you toast it, oh, the way that, that that crispy outside of that bread gives a nice toasty flavor, mm -hmm. delicious. So you mentioned it, so you're going to do it, right? Okay, great. So you can pop the pad on the heat. Sure. 
I don't know about you, I grew up with this bread. Me too. I actually moved towards this bread because I used to always just eat uh, any sort of regular brown bread mm -hmm. and then I moved more towards the healthy breads. This oh, one so was by far my favorite to eat with the is tuna mayo. It was one of my favorites. I love making French toast out of it. Ah. Oh yeah, that must be yeah, so delicious. Because it's, it's got that slight, ah, that, that sweetness, sweetness in there already. Mm -hmm. So you used to do like French toast with bacon and with maple. Yep. Yeah. Oh, delicious. Absolutely. Well, that so, wasn't as adventurous as you. I was a bit of a lazy kid to be honest. Okay. Just general eggs like that <laughs> would have been great. Cool, so put these down, wait for these to crisp on the outside. Exactly, once it hits the, once it hits the pan, it's same as meat, don't touch it. Okay. The crust is a must. All right, all right. All right. Cool. So in our little chopper, I've got some hazelnuts and I've got some walnuts. You can toast these before the time if you want. Yes. We're gonna just go with it just like that. Because Waldorf Ooh. obviously has these nice Waldorf. What are these nuts called again? Well, I've got hazelnuts and walnuts today. Walnuts, that's it. Walnuts, Waldorf exactly. wall, We're adding a bit, of, a bit of a mix. <laughs> so just look it up. I'm gonna get it like, just like that. If you don't cool. have a chopper, don't use a pestle and mortar. Yes, if you don't and have it's a also lots mortar, of fun. Yeah, mm. exactly. So if you don't have a pestle and mortar, just like, rip out a knife. Okay, just and just do this for hours and hours Think and about hours life. and hours. Think about life. Contemplate. Actually, maybe this could be a really cool punishment to make sure that your kids make their own lunch, just to say, you were naughty yesterday at school, now make your own lunch, chop these nuts for the next like hour until they are very, very fine. Why do you think that's punishment? I think that sounds amazing. Why aren't you going to chop me nuts? Okay, okay. <laughs> I think it sounds amazing. How's your toasting? It's now making a nice little sizzle sound, so I'm assuming it's starting to get there. Okay, it's, it's not browned there. yet, but so I'll leave it for a bit. I've got some good quality mayonnaise. Into that go the nuts, a little salt and pepper for seasoning. Mm -hmm. The chefy drizzle. The Delicious, you know yeah. That, right? You did yeah. it makes it look all fancy, but you can literally just go like this and go. You can. It's, it's also you can. It's also awesome. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so how's your braid doing? I, I think it's really good. Yes, it is. It's starting to brown on the top there. Perfect. I like that. Just Do you like want that. Brown side down. Um, toast side up. Toast side up. So I've got a little butter in the pan that will be toasted in. You can toast it in a toaster. Okay. You can kill the heat before we oh, smoke, smoke out, out of the studio. Here. Or you can pop them under the grill in the oven. Okay, same difference. I mean, it's always, we're trying to be a little more fancy. Just to show you how to make ways to make your lunch and making your dinners a lot more fun. So it's just different tricks, different uh, mm -hmm. tips. As you watch the show throughout the week, you'll learn so many different little tips and tricks to try your own thing and make it your own. I like toasting it in the, in the pan with butter because you get that kind of contrast in texture. So you've got yes. the crispy, buttery side and then the softer side at the bottom. Okay. Best. Well, cool. there you go. There's so a man method behind your madness. Every time, oh, well, like, not every time, sometimes, <laughs> no. So I've got some camembert cheese. Okay. So you know the trick with camembert is to actually let it sit for a bit, it mm -hmm. can reach room temperature, it gets nice and soft, nice and creamy. Okay, the thing about camembert is it is an acquired taste. I mean, it's got a really delicious flavor to it and you've got to get people used to it. So I'd start with slightly smaller bits of it and then start to add more and more because it's the most delicious cheese to add to everything. And I, I wish everyone could make camembert their best friend. Wow, that sounds so hard. I know. I, 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 I've been thinking about it for a long time. Do you and Camembert have a history? Yeah, well, I've been chopping my, my nuts, like you said. You're thinking about life. I've been really considering what, wow, my, that's so what deep. Camembert means. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know you liked okay. that about cheese. Great. So what's left for us to do with this, <laughs> this little recipe, now that we're talking about my psychology? Okay, cool. So I've got a Granny Smith apple. Uh -huh. Get it like uh, the reason Granny Smith, because they're quite, quite tart compared yes. to gold and delicious. And that's what you want. So you want to create that, that complexity of flavor. Mm. You want to make, you got the creaminess, you got the tang, and you got this like almost like this quite sharpness from the Granny Smith apple. Which is delicious, which will really combat that um, camembert, that, that sort of softness of that camembert. So I'm glad about that. Nice. I, I love it, I'll dig it. Instead of using camembert and apple, I think when a season comes in, you can use something like a nectarine and some mature mm. cheddar. Delicious, good ideas. And then obviously it's got the watercrest sort of layer to it, which I think is one sure. of the most important steps. Do you have the same emotions and feeling towards the church no. as you do with camembert? No. Camembert quite special. Yes. All right, cool. <laughs> so I've got some watercress. So just literally to top that off. Yeah, to add your greens in there. Delicious. It is. I'm going to make it all pretty and put it on a nice piece of marble. Okay. And I'm going to ask you Ooh, yum. if you can do a little sprinkling of extra seasoning on oh, there for I me. I can. Why not? Ta-da! Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. And it's nice and simple to put together. It's lots of fun and it is mm -hmm. different and oh so healthy for you. It's such a great alternative to a normal lunch that you usually get in your lunchbox it at is. school. So I've done the open face sandwich, but I've made these ones just Yummy. for you. Great, How so we can make? hold it together and not have it all fall apart into <laughs> million, million pieces. So for more delicious recipe ideas on how to use all of the versatile Sasco products, check out the Sasco website as well as their Facebook page. Now, over the last few weeks, we've been encouraging you to send us pictures of dishes using your favorite sandwich. Sasco product, and today we have one of the first finalists on the line. Hello, Nicole Naika. How are you? I'm okay. Good. So you sent us a delicious photo. What did you make for us? Uh, the royal cream breakfast. Ooh, delicious. Well, Nicole, seeing as it's a Wednesday, it's the middle of the week, and we're kind of going towards the weekend, would a prize be nice? Sorry? Would a prize be nice in the middle of the week, you know? Yes. 
Well, you're our winner, our first wow. winner. Thank you. Well, congratulations, cool. and thanks for sending us a delicious photo. I think you should come replace me on the show Thank to enjoy all this so delicious much. food. It's such a pleasure. Have a great oh, afternoon, well. and thanks for being part of the Afternoon Express family. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. If you'd also like to be a winner, just like Nicole, then make sure you enter now. Simply cook a dish using any Sasco product. Take a picture of your dish with the product used and post it onto Afternoon Express's Facebook page, along with the name of your creation. And this is where you can get completely creative. And you could also win a Sasco hamper and a toaster valued at 2,000 Rand. That was her prize today. T's and C's do apply. Something else that T's and C's never apply in is when you can definitely eat this dish Absolutely. live on Afternoon Express. Do you think I could Express. enter this dish? Am I allowed to enter? Um, I think you would probably be nepotism if you did something like that. So <laughs> can I take the open one? Absolutely, go I'd for it. I'd love to, because I think this actually looks delicious to add to the table. So let's go and enjoy these on Afternoon Express today. Oh my mm. gosh, I'm having such a dilemma choosing what to have, so I'm just going to have all of it. Yeah, you guys are spoiled for choice, like one of each. I'm to decide that or that. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what, eat this for dinner and then take that for like lunch for sport for work tomorrow. For <laughs> no, I want it fresh. <laughs> okay, when, yeah. when, it's, when the toast is nice and soft. <laughs> Delicious. Shall I pass you one? Are you going to try one of the burgers? Absolutely. Mm. I want that one. Okay, what are you going to try? <laughs> I'm definitely trying okay, one of yeah. those. A toast and you, you and use your name. I'm also having one of these. Shona, you can take the whole stack. Mm, I don't think there's anything here that's... <laughs> nothing here is minimalist enough to go for Joanne. So I think it's not too elaborate for her. I don't know what we're going to do. No, I absolutely love your apartment, and I love that you said to us when we were chatting just uh, during the break, you said, that even if you don't win, there's nothing about your apartment that you would change because you love it wow. so much. That's so awesome. Mm, that's there's amazing. so much I'm changing about my apartment at the moment. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> now, tomorrow on the show, we're chatting to the exceptional Romy Titus, and you may know her as a journalist and sports presenter, but on the side, she's actually started an organization called Babies Behind Bars, which provides support for babies born to mothers in prison, and uh, it's a very overlooked issue, and I'm going to be chatting to her tomorrow. Wow. Sure. And it's caused so much controversy, that book, on, on all the social media sites. So it's been really right. exciting to unpack this as an exclusive yeah. one after yeah. Express. Yeah. Excited. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Happy <laughs> eating. We love you. Good night. Good okay. night. Bye. 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 Oh, Bye. my goodness. Address on TV is Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Another feel good production.